Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on mean, 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 median, and mode. Again, it's another topic on my handling data series. Uh, it says here uh, a number of students were asked how many brothers or sisters they have. The results are shown in the table below. Now, the table is here. Now, what I've done later on in, in this exercise here is instead of saying uh, uh, brothers or sisters, I've used the word siblings because siblings stands for can be a brother or can be our sister. Okay, it then says find the find the number of students. So what I've done is to add nine and fifteen, which is twenty four. Twenty four and thirteen will give me thirty seven. Thirty seven and six will give me uh, forty three. Forty three and two will give me forty five. Forty eight and then fifty. The number of students is fifty. We've got fifty students as a total number, of and for that you get one mark. Okay, and for B, it says um, find the median value. Okay, now because we've got fifty students here, the median value is going to be between the twenty-fifth and the twenty-sixth student. So if you arrange the students in order, like this. Now, nine plus five is twenty-four. If you combine those two, so the 25th student is going to be this category. So with the 26th student as well. So both the 25th and the 26th student have got uh, belong to the two categories. So 2 plus 2 give me 4. Divide 4 by 2 gives us the median value of 2. So the median is 2. Okay. Next, we're supposed to find the mean. Now for this, I've drawn three columns. A column for siblings, a column for frequency, and a column for the product of the of the siblings and frequency. That's what we got here. Because the total column will give us the number of students in each category. So, for instance, for the category with no siblings at all, we got zero siblings. Zero times nine is zero. The category with only one sibling, we got fifteen uh, siblings. Okay. So I'm so on 26 and then 18 and then 8 and then 15 and then 12 and then 24. Sorry, and then 12. If you add all those up, you should get 94. Now, if you divide this total of 94 by 50, we get the mean, and the mean is now 1.88. If you write down two, if you if you write down just two in the exam, you get it wrong. The examiner expects to see 1.88. So that should be the answer. Okay, now for C, we're asked to find the, sorry, for D, we're asked to find the upper quartile. Now, the upper quartile is the 75th percentile. So, 75% of 50 is 37.5. So, you want to find the category in which the 37.50 student belongs. Okay? So, up to the 9th student is there. 9 plus 5 is 24. Also, up to the 24th student is there. 24 plus 30 give us 37. So up to the 37 student is in this category. Now, which means that the 36 students, 36, 37.50 students are going to be in this category here. So the upper quartile is 6, and that's the 75th quartile. So the upper quartile is in this category here. Um, that will give us the, is the value occupied by the 37.50 students or 38 students, if you like. Now, we've not been asked to find the lower quarter, but I'm going to find the lower quarter. The lower quarter is going to be the 25th percentile. So, 25% of 50 is 12.5. So, we want to find in which category 12.5 is. In which category, sorry, we want to find in which category the 12.50 student as it were is. So, up to the 9th student, we're in this category here. So, 12.5, because 9 plus 5 is 24. So, the the uh, 12.50 student or the 25, 25 percentile will be in this category here. So the lower quartile in this case is just one. Okay. Now I want to find the range, and the range is the highest value in each cat in the categories. The range is the highest value minus sm the, the smallest value, and the highest value in the siblings category in the siblings category is six, and the lowest value is zero. So 6 minus 0 gives us 6, so the range is 6. 
uh, we want to find the mode. Now, to find the mode, I've created a bar chart. I've got a bar chart here. Okay, now I want to find which category has got the highest number of students. And in this case, the category with the highest number of students is one sibling. So our mode is one. Now, I hope all that made some sense. And please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.